Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Judge V coming back. And today's topic is surviving the storm of change. Change is defined as the act of making something different, transforming the old into something new. We don't like change. We want things to be the way that they are. If there's road construction and we have to go a different way, we hate it. Uh, we hate to change our diet. We hate to have to exercise. We want things to be the way that they are. When the storm of change comes, it turns life upside down. Storms displace and destroy things from our past. It could be a storm in your life, in your job, in your relationship. And it seems that all of a sudden, everything that you were familiar with, is now upside down, it's in havoc, it's in disarray. You don't know what to do. But what you have to know is that if you hold on, you can survive your storm and you will emerge stronger and wiser. Change is coated with pain and filled with doubt. It's unpleasant, it takes a while to work. But in order for change to work, it requires that we get rid of past hurts, disappointments, and flush out negative energy. It's like medicine. At first, it's very unpleasant. It doesn't seem to work, and it makes you sick before it makes you better. So you say to your doctor, like I have, you know, this new medicine that you have me on, it doesn't seem like it's working. You know, nothing is changing. My blood pressure isn't going down fast enough. He said, you gotta give it a chance to work. And that's what change is all about. We have to be willing to embrace it. One of the things that we do, we feel is that fear of change, it makes us doubtful and afraid. You know, what if it doesn't go down? What if this person doesn't come back in my life? What if I lose my job? What if I lose my life? What if I lose the things that I thought I defined myself by? What's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna be destroyed? Well, no, you won't. In those situations, there's a transformation of what we knew to what we don't know. It feels like this, and I wanna ask you, have you ever been there before? When you make a change, you had a red sea in front of you and Pharaoh behind you. You don't know what to do. You wanna give up. But change requires us to go forward. It requires us to have faith in something greater than ourselves. But even with the Red Sea in front of you and Pharaoh behind you, your destination is the promised land. A couple things that I want to say before I sign out is that embrace your situation. Wherever you find yourself, don't, don't run from it. Run to it. Work through your fear with your faith. Faith is nothing if you don't exercise it. You have to exercise your faith by believing and knowing that somehow, some way, your situation is going to change. And allow that shift to take you to where you destiny has called you to be. If you work through it, you'll get through it. I just want to say a little thing about uh, my daughter and, and how proud I am. She shared a testimony about how she was going through school and it was very doubtful. She didn't know what was going on. She wasn't doing well in school. And then she gets to be at a point where she goes to a foreign land and she finds peace and it's changed by the loss of a boyfriend. She challenges herself to keep going. And I'd like to say that three days later, it's gotten 30,000 views, not because she's my daughter, but because she was willing to go through the storm of change. And that's an example to us all that don't run from it, run to it. And in that way, you'll survive it and you'll be a better person. This is today's Affirmations by Judge V. I love you all and thank you so much. And if you find that this has helped you and that you've been inspired by it, would you consider sharing it with somebody that you think may be inspired by it? Thank you, and I look forward to doing the next one. Goodbye, everybody.